It's time for Ryan's Roses. This is a public service. Otherwise, we wouldn't do it. It is uh, basically if there's trouble or just something that's weird, something's not right in your relationship, then you can send us the problem via email. We will take a look at it. We'll reach out to you and see if you want to come on the air. And that's exactly what's going to happen here with Blanca. Blanca Alhambra, how are you? I'm, I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> so she says here, Sissini, my husband is hiding something from me. I know it. He's getting text messages in the middle of the night, and he's replying to them. He thinks I'm asleep, but I hear him every night. He no longer touches me and is always finding an excuse to be out longer than he should be. Mm-hmm. How long have you been married? Uh, 15 years. So buddy of mine said that uh, he went for th- through a four and a half year dry spell with his wife. Why? Pregnancy. That's only nine months. Yeah, I guess they had a couple of babies. Wow. Or it was but an excuse. We, I mean, we have we have three children already. But I mean, that's a long run. Four okay, so half, have right? you gone through dry spells like this in the past? Um, We did like after, like after the pregnancy, uh-huh. yeah. you know, for a little bit. But it, it was never like this. And he's not being affectionate towards me at all. Yeah, he's or, not holding, he's not cuddling you. He's not, he's, he's not, not holding your hand. Yeah. I get it, he's not being affectionate. So that's like, not It's gr- like being right. with a stranger. It's not okay. Well, complacency yeah. happens sometimes from what I hear, you know, when you get into it for a few years. But do, have, do you see the text messages? Have you seen what he's texting? I mean, I kids because he waits till I'm asleep or he uh-huh. thinks that I'm asleep and I so I just lay there uh-huh. and then I hear him I hear him texting back and forth, you know, and yeah, and and just nobody goes to the gym for four hours. Like nobody, like he's not built like in in the, to to warrant that, you right? Know? Or, you, you, or if he goes out and gets like, oh, I'm gonna go get an oil change or something. He's gone obnoxiously. It doesn't take that long to get an oil change. No, it doesn't. no, those you know? Jiffy Lubers are quick. All right. Yeah. So Blanca, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call. And then whatever his name is on Kiss FM. Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kiss FM. So uh, Sissini is going to actually make the call. You and I will be quiet and listen in. Uh, She'll offer him some roses. Now, what we want to do, the reason we do that is to see who he wants to send him to right out of the gate, top of mind. And then, of course, what he puts on the card. Okay? Okay. All right. Well, good luck. Here we go. Hello. Hi, may I speak to Joaquin? Yeah, this is he. Hi, my name is Sophia. I'm calling from Sunshine Flowers. We're a new flower shop located on Atlantic Boulevard right here in Alhambra. How are you doing? Oh, I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm calling because we're doing a promotion this week where we're giving away um, some free flowers, and you've been selected today to receive a free dozen roses. You can send them to anyone you'd like. We don't need any billing information from you. Um, They're totally free. Is that something that you're interested in? Uh, absolutely. Okay, great. Um, so who would you like to send these flowers to? Um, you can send them to Chloe. Chloe. Is that with the C or a K? It's um, C-H-L-O-E. Okay. And then what would you like to put on the note? Um, can you please put, these are symbolic of our life to come. These are symbolic of our life to come. You know what? You know what, Ryan? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Joaquin, I'll see you in court. Wow. Joaquin, it's Ryan Seacrest and Sissini. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. I need you to understand that. Everything you say is going out. Uh, your wife, Blanca, is on the line, obviously, and you're cheating on her with Chloe. What is going on? How long have you been doing it? Who is she? And what's the deal, brah? All right. Um, this is crazy. Um, she actually, she and I, Blanca and I are separated, have been for a while and we're in the midst of a court battle right now. And she's looking for any reason, any kind of ammunition to make this just more difficult and more miserable. Is that, is that true, Uh, Blanca? She hung up. Oh, she did hang up. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's not a surprise. So you're separated and she's looking to create more of a case against you. Yeah, she. I mean, 
anything to air our dirty laundry for her is just, you know, just to make my life miserable is really all she's trying to do. And I'm not surprised at all that she would do it on the radio. Did you cheat on her? Is that why you're separated? No, we separated, you know, I wouldn't say amicably, but agreed. And, you know, we're not together. I, we, she can see whoever she wants. She just won't do that. She just feels like her mission in life is to make my life miserable. And I'm so sorry that our dirty laundry has to be aired to you and everyone else because it's just ridiculous. Well, she sounds like she resents it and she's bitter. Uh, how about she's crazy and this is just proof of that? I don't know if she's crazy or not, but she reached out to us because she thought you were texting some woman at night. Do you not even with living with her? No, I am. So she, yes, I am. Oh, you are living with her because she says night. you're texting. Chloe. She, are you texting Chloe at night? Yes, absolutely. No, oh, wait, we, you're living with her and you're seeing have, Chloe. Yeah. We've been together for 15 years. Uh -huh. We have three kids. Okay, we are separated, but we're together for the kids. So we're still trying. We don't like each other, and we're in the midst of a nasty divorce. Yeah, but we're trying to make life for our kids. Yeah, you know, not it. bring this into our kids' lives and mm -hmm. make that miserable. Okay. Well. I apologize for the call. Uh, she wanted us to try and figure out if there was anything else going on, but it sounds like the issues lie with her more so than you. Well, I apologize that you've been dragged into the middle of this. Well, you know? I'm going to get out very fast. I don't blame you. Uh, I'm going to get out very fast. Joaquin, I wish you happiness and good luck, okay? Uh, all my best, guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Well, I like him. Did not see that coming. Well, he's cool, calm, and collected, right? Yeah, I guess. She, she's not happy about the separation. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, she, she, what's she scream he's at? He's not she, a saint. Huh? He's not a saint. Well, how do you know? He just said he's texting this other girl. They're separated. Well. You're allowed, I think, when you're separated to start something. If They're still living together. Well, that's for the kids. No. Patty? No, you, you can't do that. There's, that's not, that's not an excuse. Well, so do you think if you're separated though? If you no, already, you know what? They're both at fault. She's not any different than he is. Okay. He's still living under that house, so he should respect the mother of his children. Well, he's not having Chloe over to the bedroom. Okay, if he's he just wants to go and text her and see her, then move out of the house. So you're saying he's a bad person? I'm not saying he's a bad person, but what he's doing is not okay. So both of them are wrong. She's wrong for, you know, trying to find a case against him. Yeah. And he's wrong. Or may, may, using the kids as the excuse as to why he hasn't left the house. I, I'd like to take some calls on this. 800-520-1027 in just a second. I, we're going to gavel it as well. It's going to be a confusing gavel. Meantime.